Ever wondered what's at the heart of virtually every electronic device? Transistors. But what is a transistor and how does it work? You see, these tiny powerhouses are the backbone of our digital world, silently pulsating in everything from your smartphone to your microwave. If you're intrigued by electronics or engineering, understanding transistors is a must. They might be small, but their influence is colossal. So buckle up as we dive into the fascinating world of transistors. At its core, a transistor is a simple device with three layers of semiconductor material. Now let's delve deeper into this intriguing layer cake of technology. These three layers form the main components of a transistor. They are known as the emitter, the base, and the collector. Each of these components plays a critical role in controlling the flow of current, making the transistor a veritable maestro of electrical charge. First up, we have the emitter. This is the layer that, as the name suggests, emits charge carriers. These can either be electrons or holes depending on the type of transistor. The emitter's job is to provide a steady stream of these charge carriers. Think of it as a tap, controlling the flow of water or in this case, charge carriers, into the transistor. Next in line is the base. This is the thinnest layer sandwiched right in the middle. The base acts as a sort of gatekeeper. It controls how many of the charge carriers from the emitter can pass through to the next layer. It's like a traffic cop directing the flow of vehicles or in our scenario, charge carriers. Lastly, we have the collector. This is the layer that collects the charge carriers that have made it past the base. It's like a reservoir catching all the water or charge carriers that have flowed through the tap and past the traffic cop. Together, these three components work in harmony to control the flow of current. The emitter provides the charge carriers, the base determines how many can pass through, and the collector gathers up the ones that make it. This trio of components allows the transistor to amplify or switch electronic signals, making it an integral part of many of the electronic devices we use today. That's the basic structure of a transistor. Pretty simple, right? But how does it function in a circuit? Well, hold on to your hats because we're about to dive into the fascinating world of transistor functionality in our next scene. Now that you know what a transistor looks like, let's understand how it operates. Picture a transistor as a water tap that controls the flow of water. Similarly, a transistor controls the flow of electrical current. Its primary function is to either amplify or switch electronic signals and power. The transistor is composed of three layers of semiconductor material each having a specific role. The outer layers, called the emitter and the collector, are like the source and the destination of our water flow. The middle layer, known as the base, is the controller, akin to the knob on our tap. To function, a small current is applied to the base, which then controls the flow of a much larger current between the emitter and the collector, much like how a small turn of our tap knob controls a large amount of water. The base current acts as the regulator, controlling the transistor's overall operation. Imagine a simple circuit where a transistor is used to amplify a weak signal. The weak signal, which is the base current, is fed into the transistor. The transistor then produces a much stronger output signal, which is the current flowing from the emitter to the collector. The strength of this output signal is directly proportional to the input signal, hence achieving amplification. And that's how a transistor works. It's a small device with a big impact. So, what are the key points to remember about transistors? They have a unique three-layer structure, with each component playing a critical role. Functioning as an electronic switch, they regulate current flow, making our electronic circuits possible. So next time you use any electronic device, remember the crucial role played by the humble transistor.